Sub subscribers, how are you guys doing today? <clears throat> We're going to jump right in. That's what we always do, right? Okay. Do not expect the narcissist to come see you when you are sick. Do not expect for them to check on you. Do not. They're not going to come to your sick bed, ladies and gentlemen. They do not want to be bothered. Okay. The narcissist will deal with you while you're up and able body and you can do every little thing up under the sun for them. You see the true colors when you become sick. You see the true colors when uh, some very traumatic happens in your life and you're in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. Something very traumatic happens in your life and you really need them. You will. That's when you see the narcissist. OK, the narcissist is like they're out to get what they want to get. And that's it. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys can only realize what be going through my mind, it'd be so much going on in my mind. So much going on. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. But it'd be so much going on in my mind. Just different things about life that I feel like God be wanting me to know. He be wanting me to see. Ladies and gentlemen, they're not going to be there. They're not going to be there. So you guys might as, might as well go ahead and take them off of your emergency contact list because they're, they're not going to be there. And they have it honest. And you know what? I'm going to tell you something. What I have been doing, I don't give them it. You don't get my energy. Energy is valuable, ladies and gentlemen, okay? You talk about currency and you guys talk about cash and money. Let me tell y'all something. That energy, your energy is so valuable. That's why people need you on a job. They tell you, oh, if you come work for us eight hours and you give us your energy, we will pay you. Because energy is the real currency, ladies and gentlemen. Your energy is valuable. And when you have these energy vampires that's out to get it, they don't deserve that. That's why a lot of people that I know that are narcissists... <laughs> Bitch, you can't get me on the phone. Mm-mm. Unless there's something really, really going on. And it, it, hey, all right, bye. I ain't coming to your house. Mm-mm. I don't give a damn. Family or not. No, 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 no. And for my family that's watching these videos, I'm not saying that I'm not coming to your houses. I'm just saying, like, in general. Because some of my family are like, dang, we don't see Avius. He don't come around. It's not that it's anything personal with you guys. It's just that I'm probably just busy or tied up. You know, I be in my own little zone. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I think people should respect that because we are human and we have our lives. But <clears throat> at the end of the day, it's like I'm talking about the ones that I know that I have, like, I'm really, really focused on. Like, I be like, mm -mm, you can't get my energy. No. You get my energy when I'm ready for you to get my energy. See, that's what it first start off as, ladies and gentlemen, is you make the decisions in your world. Who the hell? First off, you ain't finna control me. I do what I want to do. Yeah, I might have went by your house and sat for a little while, but that don't mean that you have control over me. So don't think that I'm going to do it. That's why a lot of people, they acknowledge it when I come over because it's like, damn shit, we don't know when we're going to see him again. Because, baby, it ain't up to you to dictate and determine when I come and when I go. Now, it is your place if it's, you know, open and welcome, you know, and you want me to come. I, but I, every day, I want you to be here at this time. And I No, we're not doing that. Bitch, I'm going off of the way I feel. Just the same way you're going to go off the way you feel. The way you go off the way you feel, like, I feel like I want you here right now. But I feel like I don't want to be there. <clears throat> and if I don't want to be there, I'm not going to be there. Ladies and gentlemen, see, you have to start early on with narcissistic people. Go ahead and letting them know. Because they're going to examine you, okay? To see what buttons they can push and what buttons they can't. But when you let them know, no, bitch. Mm-mm. And let me tell you something. I don't even flat out tell them that. What I do is, okay, I'll holler at you later. All right, yeah, da, da, da. okay, bam. Because I know I'm going to do what I want to do. You can talk, you can say what you want to say, you can do this and that. I'm going to do what I want to do. I have that choice. This is the freedom. See, they want you to be slaves. And then let me tell y'all something. This is what kills me. It'd be a lot of racists talking about slavery and stuff like that. But how when there's narcissistic people that are black, 
Oh my gosh, my phone just went dead, which is not good because I have more videos for you guys. That's narcissistic, that's black, but they still trying to take control over somebody. That's black. It's what happens. It's, it's what they do, ladies and gentlemen. But they try to tell you. They try to tell you how to run and live your life. They try to tell you that, oh, and we went through racism. But look at what you're doing to your own people. <laughs> look at what you're doing to your own people. That's why I tell everybody, I say, nobody can point the finger. Everybody trying to focus on situations that occurred and what happened. But how many people back in slavery days, ladies and gentlemen, I think about this. How many black people back in slavery days were narcissistic? It's kind of obvious that there were a few because some of them sold their own people to. I'm just saying. Let's just keep it real. Everybody want to focus on the race card. Man, this story and this situation and everything that's happened in life is much more deeper. Ladies and gentlemen, you have narcissistic people that are fucked up. Okay. That are fucked up. <laughs> we have to open our eyes to the truth, ladies and gentlemen. We'll fall for anything. I'm going to see you guys in the next video, but I just want to put that out there. Bye-bye.